This trip to the Outer Banks is kind of special because the very first time I came down here was mid-August 1988. Came with my aunt and uncle, my cousins, my two older brothers, and my two younger sisters. And we stayed in this house right here, 101 Baker Avenue. The house was, um, it just had regular wood siding then. It's had vinyl siding added since then. And there's a little outside shower outside. The fence was not there then. But that's the very first place we ever stayed. Alright, so uh, there is a lot of history here on uh, these islands. Uh, one major historical event that occurred was, of course, the first flight, which uh, occurred in uh, 1903 um, by Orville and Wilbur Wright. And uh, they, uh, I believe they did the first flight near here, actually. There's a monument, actually, where I were located at. Um, that commemorates that event. Um, basically, they they did several tests uh, in flight, uh, and uh, they slowly achieved somewhat of a distance. But uh, um, they finally had a success, I believe, on the third or fourth attempt. Uh, they actually had lift off and was in the air for. For a, a significant amount of time, and uh, with that, they were able to take that invention and, continu and continue to improve upon it. And of course, now today you have uh, flight. Um, so uh, that's that's a pretty significant uh, uh, invention today you know, that we use today. And it's hard to believe, you know, that a world without flight, you know, it, it got hard to, you know, you, it, cars was a major invention, vehicles was a major invention, which made the country so small and it was easy to travel from one place to the other. Um, but flight made it even more smaller because now, you know, you could, you can get from one coast to the other in a very short time, as long as you don't have any layovers or anything, I guess. <laughs> or any security issues, you know, uh, theoretically, you can make it there much faster than in the vehicle. So, a little bit of history here on the islands, here in the Outer Banks. Hey everybody, I am at Jeanette's Pier for the video today. Um, it's uh, the longest pier here in um, the Outer Banks and it's been rebuilt several times. Uh, let's uh, let's walk across it. Let's check it out.
here at the end of the pier. See the shore. I believe this is a thousand feet long. This uh, this pier, pretty long pier. So uh, the Jeanette's Pier has been uh, rebuilt a few different times. Uh, let's look at this history here on it. So it was originally built in 1939. And that's what it looked like then. Sixty. It's like that earth an old shipwreck, and the sea drove it through the middle of the pier, and then beached the wreck about seventy-five yards north of the pier. Wow! Uh, Ash Wednesday storm in nineteen sixty-two. The pier was repaired. Um, March nineteenth. That, that, that was the nor'easter. Ash Wednesday storm destroyed the pier and the pier house. Three pilings were made after that. 
1996, they remodeled it here. Now, this is the one I actually uh, visited. It was uh, a wooden pier, and that's what it looked like underneath. And then this is when the North Carolina Aquarium Society bought the pier. Hurricane Isabel came through in 2003, caused quite a bit of uh, destruction. And then a new pier was built in 2011. from underneath the uh, ear. Woohoo! That water is awesome! Well, thank you everybody so much for watching our, our videos that we created here in, the, in our favorite place, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Please continue to, to watch our channel, like, subscribe, share our videos. There's so much to see here. It's, just, it's a wonderful place. Thank you.